Hello students, today we will learn how to create a PowerPoint presentation. So in order to create a PowerPoint presentation, what you have to do is you have to open a PowerPoint and then just now I have opened it. So we will go to the file option. So from file you will create a new one. So from that you can choose a blank one to create a new one like this you can do so. So what points we are going to cover in this is how to create an edit presentation under which we will see once you create a presentation how you will insert the table, picture, clip art, shape, smart art, chart, header, footer, audio, video, equation and symbols. So let's see these options quickly. So as you can see here, this is nothing but the home layout. So if I want to add a new slide, then simply I'll click on a new slide. And these are the options available. That is whether I want a slide with a title and slide, whether I want a title and content slide, a section header, a two content, a comparison, title only blank, content with caption and picture with option, picture with caption. So let's see that this is the slide which has a title click to add subtitle this is how I can do that and if I want to delete that then simply I can delete that slide so this is how I can add a new slide from here what I can do I can choose the layout from the layout option I can change the layout so this is nothing but the home section now let's come to the insert option so in insert option there are n numbers of options first we will see table so if I want to insert a table I'll simply click on this table option and whichever format I want to insert I can select it suppose if I want to draw a table then also I can do that simply I have to draw it like this I can do that so this is nothing but the table option is there if I want to delete then I can simply delete it I'll say delete the row so this is how next it's picture so if you want to insert a picture simply click on the picture option and whichever picture you want to upload suppose I want to insert it from the saved pictures then I can do that if I want to upload from the screenshot then simply I can choose it and I can say insert so this is how I can insert what is the next thing clip art if you want to insert any kind of clip art then you can do so from this option so here you just search for it as you can see here available clip parts are there so if I want to insert it then I can do so I can rotate it anywhere now I don't want that then simply I can delete it also what is the next option screenshot if I want to insert a screenshot I can do so if I want to insert shapes inside my PPT then from this I can do so so as you can see here there are n numbers of options available lines rectangle basic shapes block arrows equation steps flow charts stars and banners call outs action buttons anything which I want to include in my PPT I can do so let's take one arrow so this is how I can insert it whichever shape we want we can insert it after that it's smart art so these are the options we have under the smart art graphic least process cycle if I want to show the hierarchy if I want to show the relationship then these are the options available matrix pyramid and picture so this is how I can check that whichever option I want I can apply it smart art and chart chart if I want then I'll go to the chart option Again, there are n numbers of options, column, line, pie, bar, area, xy scatter, stock, surface, donut, bubble, radar. 
whichever chart I want, I can insert it. Then the next is if I want a text box, simply I can insert it. This is how I have selected. Now I don't want it, I'll just delete it. Header and footer. The way we used to insert a header footer inside the word, in the same way I can insert it here also. From this option you can do it. On which slide number you want, then you just select that slide number and in footer you will mention it. If I want to apply it to the particular slide, then I can select it. And if I want to apply it to the all, then I'll select this option, apply to all. If I want to insert an audio file, then I'll go to this option. And now there are three options, audio from file, clip art audio or record audio. These three options are available in order to upload the audio. Then video. Again, if I want to add the video file, then I can do so. Video from file. Now suppose I have any video file here. So I'll select this and I'll insert it. Now it is inserting. So simply I'll cancel now. So that is just the demonstration purpose. So I can insert video and audio also. An equation that is if you are doing any mathematical related PPT and if you want to insert any ins uh, equation then you can do so. So here are the available options. See which kinds of equation? Area of circle, binomial theorem, expansion of sum, Fourier series, Pythagoras. I can select whichever I want. So as you can see here, that is selected. So this is how we can insert the equations. Now symbols. There are symbols also. So whichever symbol I want, I can take. So these are the available symbols. N numbers of symbols are there. Whichever you need, you can upload. So that is nothing but the first part. Now let's see the next part. That is nothing but design. Once you have inserted the required thing, how will you design your presentation? That is the page setup, slide orientation, colors, fonts, background styles, hide background graphics. So let's see that. So page setup. That is in design tab I'll go. In page setup, I can choose whether I want a portrait representation of my slide or a landscape one. And slide size, I can choose. Now, let's select the first option. On screen, 4 is to 3. I'll say OK. It will get applied to my PPT. Sixteen is two nights, whichever. So it is getting changed. Whichever setup we want, we can do that. Then slide orientation. If I want a portrait one, we can check that. If I want a landscape one, I can do so. After that slide orientation, let's see the fonts. Colors, fonts. So color, whichever color I want, I can choose. As you can see here, I have choose. Then font, whichever font I need, Calibri, then I can choose Calibri, adjacency, then the font will get changed accordingly. Effects if I want, again I can take those effects. And the main thing, orientation, whichever format I want, see, these are the available themes. These are the built-in one, if you want the new one then I you can browse it and you can use it so whichever theme you need you can choose it from the built-in themes if you want none then select none so that is how you can do that background style so under background style there are n numbers of options which background style you need then if I want to hide the background graphic then I can choose that Suppose I'll take this and I'll say hide background. So you can see that. And I'll say hide background. I'll unhide and I'll 
height so this is the difference so this is nothing but the design pan of powerpoint presentation let's see the next part transitions so under the transition tab there are n numbers of transitions i can give that is if i want a cut pattern so you can see the effect fed push wipe split reveal random bars so these are the options available using which i can do the transition then sound if i want to include the sound then i can do so whichever sound i want i can take that and i want to if i want to customize the duration also then i can do so and here i can choose whether i want to apply it to all or for a trip or a particular slide that is nothing but the transition so next is animation pane so under the animation pane again which kinds of animation i want fade fly in float in split wipe shape fill whichever i want so these are the available options whichever option you like you can choose so this is nothing but the animation pane under the effect option you can customize the direction in out whichever n numbers or n numbers of option are there you can set the trigger also on click off on so this is nothing but the animation option and the next is slide show that is when i want to do the slide show whether i want it from the beginning or from current slide so fy is the shortcut in order to do the slide show so from beginning i can choose that and say okay so this is nothing but the slide show and in order to exit from the slide show view i'll press esc key okay from current so for from current slide i need to do that then also i can do that broadcast slide show if i want to broad broadcast my slide show to the remote viewers who can watch it in a web browser then i can do that with the help of this option and the next is if i want to hide any slides then i'll just simply hide that slide so you can see the cross mark over here that is nothing but that slide is hided i'll unhide it so that is unhided now so hide slide is done then record if i want to record then also i can record my slide show so start recording from the beginning it will ask me whether i want slide and animation timing narration and laser pointing then i can say start recording so at the top you can see that it is getting recorded at the top if i want to stop it then i'll just pause it and i can stop it resume no i don't want to resume so this is how you can stop now what is the re remaining part use timing if you want to use the timing also then you can do so that is while doing a powerpoint presentation before that if you want to rehearse the timing that how much time you need to rehearse then that is within the this fractions of seconds uh, fractions of minutes i need to practice then you can use this rehearse timing and you can practice while talking before presenting your powerpoint presentation do you want to keep the new slide timing now right now i'll say because i don't want to save it then in media control that is if i want to show the media control see what is this what does it says when you move the pointer over audio and video clip during the slide show that is it will help me to control my media this is the option and resolution what kind of resolution i want these are the available resolutions available i can choose whichever i want accordingly my resolution will get changed so these are the few options available which i can use 
while making my PowerPoint presentation, which helped me to build a good PowerPoint presentation. That's it. Thank you.